I installed the mod which adds the healer class into Terraria. The healer class is a modded cooperative class that is supposed to focus on healing your teammates, but since I don't have any friends, I decided to see if we can solo Terraria as a healer. Immediately after spawning in, I checked out the healer class weapons that were available for crafting, and honestly, I got pretty excited because there was a lot of them. The first weapon that I crafted for the healer class was a wooden stick that twirled around. Uh, apparently, from what I know, the healer class uses a form of scythes, and for some reason, the first scythe we got was a stick. I did some Terraria stuff, including building some houses. I found some Hermes boots and went exploring with the goal of reaching the ocean. The healer class's first armor set was made out of coral. So after desecrating the surface of the ocean, I crafted our first armor set, the coral armor set. Coral chest guard, it means tits. Coral leggies and helmet. Cheese! Dude, what the heck? This is such a cool armor set. Afterwards, we went ahead and also crafted another weapon to add to our arsenal of wooden sticks, the palm cross. Ooh. All right, even though we made an armor set and you know some two weapons, right? We have a problem, okay? Our DPS was still dog shit. So I decided to undertake an expedition to find more loot, specifically a modded chest called the Scarlet Chest, where there would potentially be something called a deep staff inside of it. This deep staff would give us enough firepower to kill the Eye of Cthulhu, but too freaking bad because I bombed the entire lithosphere to find for these Scarlet Chests, and the ones that I found did not have what I wanted. And speaking of bad luck, the Eye of Cthulhu came anyway. All right, at this point of the game earlier, I made an opal grappling hook but other than that we had a flimsy wooden stick a suit of armor made out of coral and also no freaking game audio because i forgot to record it see that's what happens when you don't upload for two months anyway the fight the actual fight with the eye Cthulhu, it actually wasn't that bad okay i lied it was pretty bad i mean we were pretty tanky right but our dps was really bad like it was so freaking bad also we had the nurse so we were alive but yeah you know just roll the footage of me struggling no 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 no, no. he's going feral he's going feral come on one more yes oh my god am i not recording games Game audio? Oh shit, I'm not. All right, anyway, after the fight, I used the Crimtain Ore to make a Crimson Scythe. This gave us a sharp DPS upgrade as well as very, very high knockback. The next thing we needed to do was get a Blood Moon. I think I explained it in my planning. I don't remember. Okay, so here's the thing, right? Our next armor set requires something that drops from a Blood Moon, but we don't have time to wait for a Blood Moon, so we're just gonna. Oh yeah, that actually didn't work. So um, yeah, I didn't summon a Blood Moon. So I had to basically just YOLO it. Um, I went to go fight the Brain of Cthulhu because all of the gear we could get, we couldn't get because you needed a Blood Moon. So like I said, we YOLO'd it. But I had an idea. I set up my arena and spawned the Brain of Cthulhu. And guess what? My theory was right because I'm a scientist. I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur. That made no sense. Our knockback should be sufficient enough for us to kill a few of them, I think. Watch this, bro. They can't even touch me, bro. Y'all can't even touch me. Wait, that's kind of crazy. Wait, no way. I'm not even touch. Okay, wait, maybe if the brain touches me. Wait, no way. Can we actually beat this? Whoa, whoa, ow, ow, ow. Can I take a bite out of my pasta? <laughs> All right. We got it. All we got to do is stand still now. Bro, what the heck? We're crazy. By the way, if you're wondering, I'm eating beef pepper cavatappi. I don't know how to pronounce the pasta shape name. It's just pasta. It's beef pasta. Easy. Anyway, after I beat the Brain of Cthulhu, I got this stalker weapon. It was kind of like a weird flail, and it was pretty cool because as you hit enemies, it spawned these little like pixel balls things, and if you walked up to them or when they go to you, it actually healed you a little bit. So that was really cool. Afterwards, I did some Terraria stuff. I made a Deathbringer pickaxe, placed down my instant elevator, and went to go get some Hellstone. Ah! While down there, the goblin army decided to pay me a very kind visit, so I went up back to the surface to send those kiddos to the grave. Luckily for us, we needed something to test out anyway with our new and sexy hot weapon, the Hellstone Scythe, or whatever it was called. I don't know what it's called. This is better. 22 damage, fast speed, grand spells. This thing's pretty crazy. Also, during the goblin army, I got this crazy dark gate item. It's pretty cool. Here's the footage of it. Players can right click to pass over the other side. And you heal 27 HP? No way. What? No way. This is a freaking rod of discord. This is a pre hard mode rod of discord that heals you. That's crazy. I looked at the spoils of our battle and I realized that I still needed a blood moon for most of the next upcoming gear. The shadow wand, which we need unholy shards for. We're never going to get a blood moon, dude. It's literally, we can't even summon one. Instead of doing a blood moon or waiting for one, I decided to go straight into the jungle to get a new modded material called petals. These petals drop from random enemies that spawn in the jungle. I'm not sure, but you would use these petals to make a new armor set. Like I said, I don't think we were gonna get a Blood Moon anytime soon, so I decided to find as many alternative solutions as possible. And in the process, I found a Goblin Tinker, which I sold my soul for a Tinker's Workshop, and I continued gathering some more petals and jungle spores until eventually I could craft a new armor set. Oh, snap, you gave me a crap ton of jungle spores. 
This is the armor set, right? Yes, sir. Bing, bing, bong. Your healing spells increase the life recovery and life recovery double double. And during this time, I actually had a key realization because we didn't actually have to beat around the bush and not get Blood Moon gear because we literally and actually could have just summoned one from the mutant mod. Oh my goodness, I'm so stupid. Okay, so I know I kept talking about a Blood Moon, but this is what we actually needed to get. From the Blood Moon, there's a new modded material called Unholy Shards and Blood. These things drop from zombies or whatever else spawns out of the Blood Moon. The first weapon I crafted using the spoils of the battle at night was a needle. There it is. The Giga Needle. Am I using it on enemies? Nope. So this only heals my allies, but I have literally none. You see, the healer class had these items that could actually, you know, it, literally it's to heal your teammates. It's not really a weapon. It's a healing item. But this needle could be upgraded with jungle spores to make it poisonous. So yeah, I, yeah, I did that. There it is. The Poison Prickler. Wait, what the heck? This actually does decent damage. 20 damage. It's like a spear. Right click to spray a mist of toxin. Ooh, ew. Wait, this is crazy. This is a lot of damage. This is a, oh my gosh. Afterwards, I killed a lot more enemies. And after a while, I finally was able to craft this really, really good weapon that I really wanted to make called the Omen. There it is, the Omen. This is what I wanted. This thing right here. Look at this thing. It's like a freaking, it's a freaking projectile boomerang thing that like comes back, fires a pentagram. Half of the life cost is given to your ally with the least amount of HP. All right, anyway, we gotta go kill some clams. Now, also, if you can't realize at this point, a lot of the weapons that the healer class uses require mana and also HP. So it was kind of this fine, cute balance of selling your body in order to do damage. I'm not sure if that's the best way to put it. It's, I don't know, I, 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 I thought, I don't know. Before I decided to fight Skeletron, there was actually another armor set that we can get. I know there's a lot of armor sets, but they're really cool. The next armor set required a new modded material called pearls these pearls dropped from clams in this new ocean biome i think it was like a i don't know what it's called but it looks like a coral reef so we're gonna call it the coral reef i spent a good day or two killing some clams for some pearls until i found out you can actually just mine them within the walls of the coral reef which was pretty freaking cool but anyway i had enough pearls and i made a new armor set called the iridescent armor set i think that's how you pronounce it can we make the armor sets oh yeah bang 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 more defense your radiant damage also has a 50 percent chance to release a blinding the flash also hears heals nearby allies let's go dude i like my armor set better though anyway after that i began traveling to the dungeon to try and fight skeletron the big boy himself and as you already know all the troubles that i have with skeletron so i was pretty worried you know we were the healer class but actually we did a pretty good amount of damage as this class like i'm not gonna lie i i thought it was gonna be like kind of impossible but we do a lot of damage as the healer class it only took me till my second try to actually beat skeletron come on come on come on we're so close Come on, come on, come on. I need heal, I need heal, I need heal. Why'd I do that? Heal? Did he just die to a fallen star? <laughs> what is that luck? And after that, I went into the dungeon to look for the Muramasa variant of the scythe. And guess what? I found it. Oh, there it is. Let's go. We got it. I went back home to craft my magic storage system to finally finish things up in pre-hard mode. And I crafted my instant arena for hell and immediately died to the wall of flesh. At this point, I thought that our DPS was going to be enough for the wall. Like, I'm not going to lie. I thought we were going to be able to kill him first try, but we, we we couldn't. So I decided to gather something called life ports. And you could combine this to make new armor. So that was one thing I needed to do. I also crafted the Knight's Edge version of the Scythes, which in this case was called the Blood Harvest. And this thing was really, really good and also really really cool anyway back to the first thing that i talked about the armor set we needed to get a material called dark steel ingots which was made out of spikes from the dungeon which was pretty cool so i got some of those spikes made them into dark steel ingots and was able to craft the templar armor set templar circuit leggings and boobers bing bing bong all right all right is our regen higher i think our regen is higher so we have a new weapon we have a new armor set and for the last thing i needed a new weapon okay i was kind of relying on the omen which you know used my hp it was really really good it pierced a lot but here's the problem if i was low hp i couldn't use it so i wanted a new consistent weapon and there was one but we needed to kill this mini boss in the jungle called the bloom corpse what oh my god if i die yes you're dead oh my gosh yes and after a while of waiting, a new NPC arrived and they sold me this new weapon. Oh, they're finally here. Hello. Ooh. Hello. Yero. Life Disperser. But this weapon relied only on mana. It wasn't as strong, but it was pretty good. With this loadout, I went down into hell and fought the wall of flesh. I'm so sleepy. It's 12 a.m. and I've been playing for five hours straight. Let me just kill this guy. Oh my god. All right. Bam. 
Yeah, I'm so sorry about my face cam being just abnormally large. I got a new camera, as you can tell. The Omen was really, really good for damage. Like, it's so freaking good. But too bad it just took too much HP. I used the Life Disperser to just, like, you know, just chip away, do a little bit of damage while using mana and, you know, just regening my HP until I can use the Omen again. And yeah, that was the strategy. Dude, I'm so focused right now. I'm not even talking right now, dude. There's so many lasers. I have to make sure I'm hitting the eye with this weapon. I don't know if this weapon's projectile expires after a long time. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. No, 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 so the first thing I needed to do in hard mode was, of course, gather some hard mode ores. So I did some Terraria stuff. But here's the thing. We were going to need a large DPS boost. So I decided to go to the ocean and get some more pearls and something called Aquite Ore. I combined both of these into something called an Iridescent Staff. And then I began farming some Pixie Dust. I know it's a lot of materials, but just keep up with me here. What the heck is that? First of all, this weapon's kind of... It's okay. A godly Gnome King's Pickaxe? I also got a Delectable Nut. Delectable nut. I did another blood moon because I needed to get more unholy shards and I crafted a new weapon called the wild umbra wild umbra There it is Ooh, ooh, this looks crazy. I can't tell if this is oh, this is way better I'm gonna keep the omen because it pierces now of course in order to make the mechanical boss summons I started farming for some souls of light and in the process I crafted a new weapon called the sacred bludgeon sacred bludgeon I hope this is good for now. I mean it looks kind of ass I mean like right now I just need souls of light to get the full armor set, but it's taking so long while testing it out I found out that it actually heals a pretty decent amount of HP. So that was really really good. Wait, are those all healing bubbles? Oh, what? Um, afterwards, I made a new full armor set for the healer class called sacred armor. We have 29. Can I make the full armor set no i cannot sacred legs sacred helmet sacred where's the boobies let's check it out bing bing bong this is a pretty cool armor set i don't know what this does healing spells will additional will heal more life healing spells will heal an additional five life we do more damage and i spent some more time farming for souls of flight and also souls of light a lot of farming you know getting some good stuff done now before actually getting a pair of wings i decided to undergo a quest to get the spiritualist npc so we have to kill this marble biome boss this guy right here after we kill him an npc called the spiritualist will spawn i believe and he's gonna sell us some more weapons all right this guy's actually why am i taking so much damage guys yo there we go all right now that we killed this guy yep the spiritual titus 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 whoa cloud scepter no way wait a minute it's a fucking cloud. Yes, that's what I needed. Yes. After that entire ordeal, I found for a little bit more souls of light until I eventually crafted angel wings. Afterwards, I decided to challenge the twins. Dude, I am done with this guy, man. Oh, my nose is itching. Dude, I scratch my nose and I lose 62 HP. Like, dude, 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 I'm going home. I'm going home. I'm healing. I literally had samosas earlier, too, and my throat is killing me. Yeah. Oh, great. I'm gonna hatch my nose. Kill this guy. Yep, 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 yep. This thing's so good, but it drains the living crap out of my HP. Ow. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Thank you. Life powered energy cell. All right, but we can make this one thing. This is what I wanted to do. I wanted to make this. Hollowed scythe. Wait, I can make so many things. Wait, what the heck? I can make a hammer too? No, no, no. We're making a scythe. We gotta make a scythe first, dog. That's what I'm talking about. And then let's make the... I'm going to throw out a hammer, dog. Oh, yeah. This is awesome. And then this, too. Dude, we can kill the destroyer. Easy peasy. Afterwards, I farmed some more souls of night, and I realized that I was actually able to summon the destroyer. Except the fact that I thought I could kill him, but I couldn't kill him. I thought that with the scythes, we were able to cheese him because, you know, penetration damage, all that type of jazz. But <sighs> I barely did enough damage. But because of all that, I actually had to farm the twins, which was so freaking painful because, you know, we still had poopy DPS. But I wanted to craft a new armor set called Biotech Armor, and this would only drop after you kill the mechanical bosses a good amount of time and since the only ones we can kill are the twins that's what i did <sighs> anyway after my period of solemn solitude i was able to craft this new armor set 
Biotech armor. A biotech probe will assist you in healing your allies. Heals ally, blah, 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 blah. The hollowed blessing. I hope this is better than... Yeah, I think it is better. It's faster and I want that. But I still couldn't beat the destroyer. You see, our DPS and our HP... Uh, I just suck at the game. That's all I gotta say. I decided to redo my accessories. I decided to get a new accessory called the dark glaze. And then we need to make this dark glaze item with dark intent and crystal honey. Dark intent needs a soul of night and dark sh whatever, dark shards. And this one is honey blocks life gem and purified shards oh my god i just need a dark shard i just need a dark shard i can't seem to get a dark shard yay dark shard let's get the hell out of here yes bro honey increases radiant damage critical chance blah 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 bada bing make that make the dark glaze empower certain radiant attacks with dark energy max life more damage something something and with this loadout that I totally didn't steal from this video. By the way, shout out to the video. Links in the description. Leave a comment. I was able to beat the destroyer very easily, actually. All right, let's try this. We're going to tank it through with our crap, and hopefully this will just absolutely decimate it. All right, let's do this. Bam. All right, we're doing a lot of damage. We're doing a lot of damage. Let's go back down. All right, all right, all right. Look at all that HP dropping on the ground. He's going to come in here. All right, all right. Look at his HP go down. We're taking 20 HP, 30 HP, 40 HP, 360, 359. We're still doing a lot of damage. I'm going to pop a heal right... Oh, I already popped the heal. I'm doing more damage. I'm going to go over here, walk over, take the teleporter heal, 30 HP. I'm talking a lot of HP. Sit right here. We're going to kill it. We're literally going to kill it. We're literally going to kill it. We're literally going to kill... Wow. After that fight, I went to the dungeon to farm some bones because I just don't have enough for Skeletron Prime. Um, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, Terraria stuff right there. Here is the fight. Honestly, the fight was pretty good. Um, I thought it would, we would struggle more, but we honestly didn't. Okay, let's try to kill Skeletron Prime. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. It's kind of a relaxing fight, I'm not gonna lie. My arms kind of hurt too, bro. Just, just die, bro. Oh, our DPS is pretty good. I think it's because of the armor penetrating. I don't know. All right, they got one arm down. That's another arm down. I can't tell if this is faster. It smells faster. Yes. After the fight, I crafted something called the Mind Melter weapon. And honestly, this thing was pretty sexy. The Mind Melter. What? What? Um, I don't know how to feel about this weapon. It's so weird. Now, here's the thing. Before we fight Plantera, I wanted to get a large DPS spike. I, I wanted that, like, that sexy ego boost. So, I started gathering some Chlorophyte and Biomatter to make this new armor set. It looked freaking cool. I was gonna put it in my 100 days thumbnail for Thorium, but whatever. I made two new weapons. Here they are. Am I blind? Where oh, here it is. The Effuser and the Morning Dew. Oh, that's not, that's not bad. And I also crafted a new accessory called the Arch Demon's Curse, which basically just combined healer class accessories I already had. We're going to make a Seraphim Idol, and then with the Seraphim Idol, we can combine it all. Wait, yes, I can make it. Yes, the Arch Demon's Curse. That sounds insane. Power of certain radiant attacks with dark energy, max life increased by 20, 10% increased casting speed, 20% increased damage. <sighs> Dude, this is gnarly. And I began farming Mothron, and you already know where this is going, because I plan on crafting the Terra Blade version of the Scythes. After killing Mothron enough times, and I got enough broken hero fragments instead of broken hero swords, the first one I crafted was the True Blood Harvest. All right, all right, we can craft one true weapon. There it is, the True Blood Harvest. I want that. Ooh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh this is crazy. Releases a dual pulse of life stealing blood. Dude, this is insane. Look at this thing, the true blood harvest. Now, after farming off front again, I was finally able to craft the Terra Scythe. Oh, there we go. Whoa, whoa, is this shooting out stuff? Oh, snap. Wait, what? Rapidly spins its scythe powered by Terraria itself. Blah, 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 blah. Wait, this stuff is shooting stuff. Holy crap. Wait, this is insane. I do miss the life steal, though. The first thing I wanted to test this weapon out properly was against Plantera. Okay, so I think our, I mean, like our, our loadout seems decent. It's basically, basically all warding. We have decent damage. As long as we don't get hit, Duh. We should be fine. I don't know if I want to use the Terra Scythe the whole time when I fight Plantera, but I think I should. All right. Yeet. Pop a potion. Ow. I'm already about to die to a fucking skeleton. I'm not mad. All right. 
All right, so this actually, the, oh, this has so much damage. What the heck? Come on. I hope it doesn't target like the hooks. All right, let's see. Second phase, please don't target the hooks. Ah, uh, it kind of does hit it, but it should be fine. I think our knockback is strong enough to keep it away. Dude, I'm not hitting it. Oh, ooh, ooh, ow. We're doing pretty good. Dude, good damage. I think we got it. We got it in the bag. Yeah, if we just stand still, I think we got it. Yep. Nice. After the fight with Plantera, the next thing I needed to do was farm paladins in the dungeon, which was a pain in the ass. But if I were to do this, I would be able to get new weapons and a new armor set. So I just completely realized we skipped an entire armor set, but it's perfectly fine because we can get the next available armor set, which is this fallen paladins arm. It looks sick. We need to get Holy Knight's alloy, and I'm assuming we just have to kill. Yeah, we just gotta kill paladins. There we go. We're chilling. We are vibing. Holy, there we go. Five more alloy. Let's go back home. We should be able to craft a new weapon. The Holy Hammer. Dude, it's literally a paladin's hammer, dude. Luckily for us, I actually found out that we can actually spawn in paladins using the mutant mod. And I started farming them from the comfort of my home and crafting some of those new weapons that I talked about. Let's get some paladins. I have so much money. Summon one. I need your thingy, yes sir. And I should be able to craft the Lightbringer's War Hammer. Oh, this is like an actual hammer. Uh, this is not that good. Whoa, okay, I take that back. What is this? Why does it right click? Whoa, the right click is pretty cool. But I think the Terra Scythe is better than both of them. Immediately afterwards, I crafted the Fallen Paladin Armor Set. This shit looks sick! I just need... I have enough now. I have enough to make a full armor set. Hold so let's strip and let's craft the Fallen Fallen Paladin's armor. Oh my goodness. This looks insane. It even matches our wings. 109. Oh my gosh. Our DPS goes way higher. More defense. Dude, this is insane. And after this armor set, I went ahead and tried to go fight Golem. I know I say I have bad temples. But what is this temple? It's look at it. I have like no space. I'm finding it here, dude. Like, what the heck? Oh, we're going. Oh, we're, oh, we're crazy. Is it because we have a lot of armor penetration? I don't know why we do so much damage. I'm just going to stand still and just let my DPS absolutely destroy him. Holy crap. That is insane. Now, here's the thing. Before fighting the lunar events, we're getting very close to the end. I wanted to at least get this new armor set. As you can see on the screen right here, it looks sick. To get this armor set, you actually have to beat a new modded boss called Abyssion. It's in that coral reef sea thing. That's exactly what I did. So I went to the ocean and I spawned it and I fought it and here's the fight. All right, regardless, let's just drop a freaking bomb down here. Ooh, uh. It spawned, it spawned, it spawned, it spawned, it spawned. I don't know how it spawned, but it spawned. Crap, 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 crap. There's just a lot of other enemies right now because the spawn rates are jacked up still, but after I kill them, they should be... They, they wouldn't spawn anymore. We do a lot of damage. I forgot he has this attack. 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 I forgot he... He just shoots a crap ton of stuff, and it's annoying. Parasyph is doing good damage. It's healing me at the same time. I think my buffs right now. Yeah, Bission's a fun fight. Like, a lot of projectiles. Like, I know you can hide, and I, I like, you know, I kind of blew up the entire ocean right now. All right, I'm gonna just... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. No way I die. 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 Actually, no way. Oh, I was so close. Now, here's the thing. You actually can only get it from a drop. It's not a craftable material. You have to farm a Bission until you get the drop. Wait, we have to beat him for him to drop the armor set? Wait, he drops it? No, no, no. I'm buying the treasure bag. I can only buy one treasure bag. And I didn't get it? So what? here's my thinking, right? Yo, why don't we just beat the lunatic cultist, do the lunar events until you get the solar fra lunar fragment for the healer class, make the lunar weapon for it, and then just keep farming Abyssion. So that's what I did. I beat the lunatic cultist, and I actually got this really, really good weapon, which I really enjoyed. But I found out after staring at my screen for two minutes that the healer class doesn't get a lunar weapon. It only gets lunar healing items for teammates, not for DPS, only for healing. Do I? No way. It's not a weapon? No, 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 no. It's not a weapon? So, we actually had to stick to the weapon that dropped from the Lunatic Cultus, which, by the way, did really good damage. I'm not gonna lie, I, I think this was the equivalent of a Lunar weapon, but I continued to farm Abyssion for this sexy armor set. Please give me at least one piece of the armor, please. Oh, whoa, the whole armor set. We go, we have more damage, less defense. I'm assuming you occasionally birth a tentacle of abyssal energy that attacks nearby enemies, blah, blah, blah. But yes, let's go, man. 
Oh, dude, our tentacles literally heal us, which is pretty cool. <laughs> With our current gear, I decided to do the solar pillar. And as this was happening, I decided to also expand our arena because it was kind of, you know, I, I kind of expected that we would be running around a lot. And I was right because I died to the moon lord at least three times. I'm not going to lie. I got pretty angry. Kind of. I don't know. I, I think I was more angry at the fact that I definitely could have had better gear, but I just didn't get the better gear, which is my fault. But yeah, it's it, it's the, it's been two months since I played. So yeah, I finally beat the moon lord. Oh, wait, let me show you the footage of me beating the moon i'm so sorry but yeah after enough struggling i finally beat the moon lord you get to, you know you get you get you understand the strategy run around and shoot bada bing bada boom use potions bada bing bada boom big nice and steady dps man what can i say oh my god oh my god come on come on please dude yes <laughs> Yeah. <coughs> Honestly, we could have probably did that first try if we were better prepared, but hey, what can I say? We did it. Let's go. Oh. Okay, now here's <laughs> here's when things get a little hard. Um, so after the whole Moon Lord fight, I actually bought another Moon Lord treasure bag because I didn't want to farm with it again. But I finally made the healer class lunar armor set and wings and just look at it it's so beautiful it looks like a dark souls boss man oh my god now i actually still needed some more money so i became an entrepreneur and i did genocide of course one two <gasps> yes oh finally oh my goodness it has taken years and I also did a pumpkin moon for another accessory all right we actually need to get an accessory from the morning wood Dude, look at that red thing. What is that? Is that from the mutant? Oh, ow, ow. Did I get it? Yes, I got it. I got it. I got it. Dark effigy. Blah, 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 blah. Makes me stronger, basically. That's all you gotta know. So I have 148 and it goes up to 160. I don't know. I feel like I'm stronger. That, that's all that counts. <laughs> now, usually a normal playthrough would end like this. You know, you beat the moon lord, bada bing, bada boom, we are happy. But here's the thing. The mod, which adds this class, the healer class, is called the Thoria mod, which you all probably know by now. And the final boss of the Thoria mod is the primordials. So we actually have to beat the primordials. And guess what? These guys are a pain in the ass. Um, they, I, I struggle to kill these guys, even with a full loadout an actual loadout which actually is supposed to do damage so we had to do this as the healer class now i'm not gonna lie our dps was pretty good here's the thing though i suck at the game heal dude why did i place why am i going down the platforms like it's an escalator let me just say that i died a lot it took me a while to find an actual strategy which was totally not my strategy i just used the video that i you know links in the description make sure to leave a comment the vi this video would not be possible without that video i ended up changing my actual loadout to menacing instead of using warding i wanted to be a tank with the with the healer but i decided to be menacing you know i wanted to be, i wanted to do a lot of damage i even swapped out accessories so that i wouldn't have to heal with my mana key anymore and dude this fight took so long if you didn't know, there's basically three bosses. There's a fire man, a water man, and a green man, or a toxic man, I guess. And these guys do so much damage. On top of that, they inflict a lot of debuffs. Here's the thing. It would definitely help if you had an onk shield. I didn't have an onk shield because I didn't want to craft the onk shield. So after like six tries of me just dying, right? Even after you beat the primordials, there's a second phase, which is even worse. The second phase is basically reality crushing itself right and it's just a bunch of pro like projectile spam okay um oh my god we are melting get away from me get away from me i'm gonna fucking melt here's my strategy run away and shoot all you gotta know is i struggled a lot i struggled so much and this is what happened i gotta get away from this motherfucker dude this attack it's so chalk and why does it do i burn like an extra 30 hp every time i get hit like, can't me being hit be enough punishment and not being toasted? I don't understand why I have to be toasted sunny side up. All the way that he's rotating and you don't get hit. Simple, easy. We are literally trying to save the world. We are literally almost about to save the world. We are literally about to, come on, he's almost dead. Did we do it? Oh my God. Oh my God. That took so long. Yes. <laughs> Let me go buy a treasure bag of that. I should have gotten the terrarium shield, but I didn't. Put everything inside. Armor set, baby. So there's two helmets. One is for the good and one is for the bad. So we're the bad one, but I don't like the helmet design of this one. Oh my gosh. We made the final armor set, which looked like this. I freaking loved it. Dude, we look like a fallen angel, bro. So what cool weapons can we make? Can we even make any healer weapons? Please tell me we can. And of course, we had to test the healer class out in endgame. Yes, we can. 
What the heck? What are these? Is this a scythe? Reality slasher. Masterful lucidity. All right, let's try it on like an event. Oh, dude, we look so sick, dude. Let's do the pumpkin moon. Dude, look at the scythe. Look, if an enemy goes close, it just cuts them up. That is so cool. What about this thing? Oh my god, it's a homing. Oh my gosh. It's killing me though. Dude, that is, that absolutely shreds. Literally my HP and their HP. This scythe is crazy, bro. Dude, look at this thing. It's so cool. Look at this thing. That's so cool. That's so cool. You shoot it once and it just goes out and just destroys things. Let me just toss these out and kill everything. Dude, these are insane. They kill everything. And that was it. As you can see, those dude, those weapons are so cool, bro. I think my personal favorite is the Scythe. The one that tears into reality and just kills everything. But as you can see, that was the healer class. I highly recommend playing this class. This class was so freaking fun. Definitely had some amazing sprites. I highly recommend checking out the Thoriumon and playing the healer class. And uh, yeah, it's been Adrian.